now you see all of these vegan products. That's just another space created by the same industries mm -hmm. that make fast food, mm -hmm. processed foods. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the ingredients for things like eat Beyond Meat or even the Impossible Meat, you start to look at the ingredients, none of it is really like vegetables right, or right. anything real. And this is a really cool tip. When you go in the store and you look at like the, the ingredients list, mm -hmm. The first ingredient contains the most of it. Like that's the largest sort of portion of what's inside of this product. Yeah. And when you look at the Impossible Burger, I think the first ingredient may be water. The second ingredient may be uh, canola oil. Mm -hmm. That's bad for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. horrible for you. So like, you know, like the unfortunate thing is people look at the front of the label. Right. The front of the label is hype. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Straight like <laughs> plant-based. Yeah, yeah. You know, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. You know, like it'll say like 100% natural. What does that mean? Right. Because these are terms that are used on the front of the label, mm -hmm. but they're not regulated. Right. Meaning like you could put it there. It doesn't have to pertain to this product at all, but true. you can use it. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? But that, that ingredients list, mm -hmm. they got to keep it real there. And so when you start to look at it, you see like this is there's nothing plant based mm -hmm. about there's nothing natural about this at all. So like that's the hustle. Like mm -hmm. and this is why unfortunately you see a lot of vegans, like they're eating vegan, but they're still unhealthy. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're not eating plants. And it's a huge difference between those two. Talk about breakfast for a second. Yeah. Um because the typical American breakfast, it's normal to eat first thing when you wake up. You know, we've been taught we gotta eat. As soon as we wake up, seven in the morning, what I've learned was you, you gotta give your body time to, cause it's still digesting, yeah. right? It's still fasting when you wake up. I've learned to leave breakfast alone because it makes you sluggish, right? Yep, we'll does. get full at breakfast and then we'll figure out like why we need a nap during the day. Like how are you supposed to break your fast? Like I said, I end my last meal, I try to stop eating when the sun goes down, mm -hmm. as close as possible. After I stop eating, that's when the fast begins, meaning I'm not eating anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, for a lot of people, when they hear that, they think to themselves like, man, I like to eat this and yeah, this yeah. at night. But this is why so many people can't sleep well. Mm -hmm. This is why so many people, they sleep, they're in the bed for eight hours and they wake up and they're still tired. Because mm -hmm. instead of your body re is, you know, is resting, it's digesting. Right. And digesting actually takes more energy than mm -hmm. any other system in the body, including the heart and respiration. Mm -hmm. And so I stop eating around about seven. Okay, now hopefully while I'm sleeping, I'm not like reaching over there grabbing something yeah. to eat while mm -hmm. I'm sleeping. So I'm fasting during those eight hours, mm -hmm. all right? So I stop eating at seven, I wake up at seven. That means I've been, you know, fasting for a considerable yeah. amount of time. What we wanna do is extend it out a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So I extend that out to 12, an additional five hours. And here's why that's so important. When your body is empty, your stomach is empty, when you're asleep, your body is going to be healing and repairing itself and regenerating. Mm -hmm. If you don't sleep well, if you always got food in your belly, there's no time to heal and regenerate because mm -hmm. it's always digesting and breaking down food. Mm -hmm. It's good for food companies for mm -hmm. you to eat a whole breakfast. Me telling you to extend your fast out means that you skip a meal. Right. You know, like that's bad for every part of the food industry. So that's pretty much why it's part of the culture. Now with restaurants too, right? They're not, that's not even the healthiest choice too. Like when you go to a restaurant, they have like poor foods, yeah. right? The, the, it's not the highest quality of chicken or fish or whatever the meat is. Like yeah. eating at restaurants is not healthy either. No, mm -hmm. no, because when you think about it, like they're in the business of making money. right? And when you're buying the highest quality of food, like, I mean, as an individual, you know that that can hurt the pockets. Right, right. So think about it when you're buying high quality food for hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of the time when you look on the menu, like, they're not bragging on the type of meat that right, they right, have. Right, they're right. like, they're not, and if they're not, listen, mm -hmm. if they were buying expensive meat, they would tell you they were. Because mm -hmm. it's a bragging right. Mm -hmm. So most people are buying, like, you know, like the bottom of the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, because the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, look this up. <laughs> this is crazy. A lot of restaurants use what's called meat glue. You can buy this on Amazon. There's a glue. What you do is you take all the like missing and chopped up pieces of meat mm -hmm. and you can mix it up together and glue it together with meat glue and make a steak out of it. 
That's bad. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, a lot of times it, it, it's really important like <clears throat> to go to a restaurant that does brag on the fact that, hey, you know, Mm-hmm. We we only use this type of thing. Everything is organic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we source our foods locally from farmers. Like mm-hmm. I ask those questions when I before I go to the restaurant. <laughs> um, pescatarian. Um, I was once I left the meat alone. I was a pescatarian for a long time, and then I started figuring out like maybe this fish ain't that good either. Yeah. Like I'm eating. I go to restaurants always always um, order salmon, um, sea bass shrimp um all the shellfish but i started thinking like this stuff's not that good either so for the people that transition over from uh eating meat and then they go into pescatarian to think thinking it's a healthier version i think it's even worse because go ahead it can be because um a lot of especially the seafoods Mm -hmm. these are like the bottom dwellers Mm -hmm. of the ocean and their job is to clean up the ocean crabs uh, shrimp, things of that nature, mm-hmm. like these are the things that are there to clean up the ocean. Like mm-hmm. they clean up, you know, the excrement that come from larger fish, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. This is why so many people have allergies to shellfish mm-hmm. because their primary job is to clean up the ocean. So that's the first thing. The other thing that's really important, and I've worked with people on this a lot, people who are pescatarian, they end up having a heavy metal um, mm-hmm. toxicity and especially mercury. Mm-hmm. And when you get a, a mercury toxicity, you can feel depressed. Uh, you can have anxiety. Uh, you can have gut issues. You can have arrhythmias. All of these things just because you have a heavy metal toxicity. Mm-hmm. And so I've worked with people to help get rid of a lot of the, that those heavy metals as well. So people have to be very careful as they shift to a diet that is heavy and especially like fish like that because mm-hmm. they are heavy and not only uh, heavy metals, but they're heavy in microplastics too because we throw all of our pl- plastic in the ocean. Yeah. And the same way when you buy like a b- bottled water, the reason why that bottled water has an expiration date on it is not because the water is gonna exp- expire, it's because the plastic is mm-hmm. constantly breaking down. Mm-hmm. And those microplastics, the fish are literally eating them. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times you will find those plastics inside of the fish mouth and mm-hmm. it creates you know, um, parasites and things of that nature. Mm. Let's talk about water. What water is healthy? Okay, gotcha. Well, we absolutely need water because we, we're 80% water. Mm-hmm. So without water, we would not survive. I mean, when somebody's in a dehydrated state, their blood pressure goes up, they compromise their kidneys, mm-hmm. and I can go on and on. Mm-hmm. So we absolutely need water and we oh, need to stay. Let me pause you. Yeah. So what about water from fruits? Okay. And, and the coconut water. Yeah, so that's called structured water, which uh-huh. is also good. Mm. So when you juice or eat fruits and vegetables that have a lot of water content in them, yeah. that water is even better than just regular okay, cool. water. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Right. Uh, but we definitely need water, mm-hmm. whether it's structured water or just regular water. But mm-hmm. if we're going to have regular water, the important thing that you were talking about is making sure we get a good source of water. So mm-hmm. like things like, I hate to call out names, like smart water, like mm-hmm. like when you turn it on this label, again, like you look in the front, mm-hmm. the front of, front of the label is all hype. Mm-hmm. It's gonna tell you like, oh, this is the best water, it's smart that you- It's actually and, dumb water. And then, is that? <laughs> yeah. And then you switch it on the back mm-hmm. and you see where the water is made, it will say purify in a Coca-Cola plant. Mm-hmm. You know, so like it literally, that means that they took water out of the sink and I'm just using the sink, but mm-hmm. out of a faucet, mm-hmm. and they put it through, through a purifier, mm-hmm. and then they get bottled it up. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now the dangerous thing about that is, you know, you can look at what happened in Flint, Michigan, mm-hmm. where they had the lead in the water. Mm-hmm. That's not an isolated incident. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it's not is because in most metropolitan cities, the pl- the plumbing that they laid down was laid down a hundred years ago. Mm. 200 right, right. years ago they don't change that out right, right, right. and it was lead mm-hmm. it was lead pipes mm-hmm. so every city really has that issue okay and so it's really important for us to understand that not only does it have the the lead issue but when they've tested water they also seen a lot of um, micro particles of drugs like they'll see drug particles in there mm-hmm. as well because people flush those down the toilet mm-hmm. And on and on and on. So you don't want to drink just purified water. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best water, in my opinion, is like the one you just mentioned, is natural spring water bottled at the source. Mm-hmm. That means that they went to the mountain, they went to the spring, 
and they bottled it there. That's the best way to get your water because most mountains and valleys are away from metropolitan cities. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about a lot of the pollution and things of that nature that are getting in there. Let me tell you what is harmful about it. Most of the times you don't absorb it because what makes you absorb water is the minerals in it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If you just drink empty water, water with no minerals in it, yeah. it will go straight through you or it'll make you uh, swell. Right, right, right. You want to actually absorb the water into the cells. So what happens is it makes them puffy, mm -hmm. makes you puffy. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important to get high quality water because a lot of people, especially in our community, are swole. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. look puffy in the face, they look puffy in the legs, mm -hmm. they look puffy in the abdomen. A lot of the times it's because the water isn't absorbing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you put that on top of eating, uh, 70% of the, our diet is processed foods. Mm -hmm. You know, that food isn't absorbing because it's not real. Mm -hmm. So you, you put those two together, the water isn't absorbing. The food isn't absorbing. That's why the blood pressure is so high because everything is static, nothing's moving. Mm -hmm. Like a river, it's stagnant like a, like a pond. Mm -hmm. The Western diet is becoming even more and more pervasive everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is like, if you look at like a traditional, like Chinese, like plate, like it's full of like herbs. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to like, when I lived in Japan, like, you know, they, part of their morning routine is they'll have like seaweed and, you know, yeah. things of that nature. So like their diet is actually incorporating things that are medicinal to the body. Is it cooked? Nah, that's mm -hmm. raw. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So like, that's what I'm saying. It just depends on the culture, even in India. And I'm talking about a traditional Indian diet mm -hmm. full of herbs and spices, mm -hmm. you know, so like you're getting a lot of medicinal qualities. But then when you start to go into countries that are becoming more westernized, what you see is more westernized foods. You know, you see more processed foods. You see more people eating at restaurants mm -hmm. and it starts to shift and you start to see the same kind of diseases that are developing here. They start to develop there, too. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, because I was in Japan for like, you know, four or five years, one of the things that I noticed was that uh, some of the grandparents who lived in the village, they would tell me like their grandkids would go to America. They meet like somebody in America, go there and uh, end up gaining a lot of weight mm -hmm. and uh, end up with like diabetes. Divorce the husband, come back to Japan, get really healthy again. Mm -hmm just from shifting their diet and mm -hmm. eating local food. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the food is like totally different abroad, but depending on where you go, because like I said, a lot of places are becoming very westernized. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.